Hi everyone, it's Hardeep again. I wanted to follow up my previous video on validation with the next step, which is how to validate. Um, and specifically how to validate your peers. Um, and this is for children, adolescents, adults. How do we uh, support somebody when they're in distress? So what that looks like and what I've done when somebody, you know, comes to me, either they text me or they call me, et cetera, and they're in distress, I, first of all, uh, uninterruptedly listen to what they're sharing with me. I um, give them uh, the space to feel distress. So I don't try to erase it. I try to hear them. And so I'll, I'll ask them more questions about what their distress feels like, what it looks like. Um, you know, and then when something makes sense to me, I will, I will say like, Oh, I get that. That makes sense. Like you felt this way because of this situation. That makes sense. And to say to that person, it's okay that you feel this way. Um, you know, sit in that sadness. It's fine. It's okay not to feel okay. Um, and I'm here to hear you. I'm here to listen to you. Um, I'm not going to give you advice. And so I'm just here to listen. And when we do that, we can start to feel that that arousal piece that I was talking about in the previous video. We can see that. I get it. All you have to say is, I'm here for you. I'm sorry that, that that's happened. I'm here. That's it. And the more we can validate somebody just by saying that, we are giving them the space to talk more. The more we do that, they actually figure things out usually themselves. But just to give them that that space to feel distress is what we need. Um, and just those things of, oh, I get it. We'll get them talking more. We'll get them sharing more. And oftentimes their, their problems solve themselves because they have it. They have it inside of them. So please try that out and uh, see how it works. I really hope that it helps. Thank you.